Looks like Buffalo getting the short end of the stick right here. Moving back from one to three while number five and number nine, New Jersey Pittsburgh, move ahead of them in the draft. Lottery feels bad. Feels bad, Buffalo, but hey. And Islanders get pushed back. Vegas was awful, apparently, and got pushed back from three to five. But that should actually uh, present some interesting opportunities here for trading at the draft. So this could be, this could be neat. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see as we, uh, before we check out retirements, guys, keep that momentum going. It has been insane, man. We're hitting like almost a hundred likes per video. So keep that shit up. It is, uh, definitely, definitely helping the channel out as I, uh, continue to expand my horizons here and Keeping the NHL uh, content relevant in the good old algorithm. So, uh, so thank you guys. And uh, yeah, let's check out retirements. Marlowe has gone. Char is gone. He was back in Boston. <laughs> Char went back to Boston. Marlowe's in St. Louis apparently. That's gross. Kessler, Dubinsky, still probably not going to see like any major, major retirements. Jack Johnson went to San Jose. How disappointing, but not surprising. I guess, uh, yeah, other than that, not, uh, not anything too out of the ordinary. Dylan, uh, <laughs> Devin Dubnik. I was going to say Dylan Dubnik. I don't know why, but that was a thing I almost said. Devin Dubnik, Bishop, Hot and Glass, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, really, again, we're not going to see any, like, not going to start to see a ton of retirements till next season. Um, don't think we had any retirements. I keep forgetting our goddamn Milwaukee. <laughs> Anyway, Jack Johnson, Marlowe's uh, Char all become scouts, no coaches, but everyone, they're all wanting to scout. All right, well, speaking of which, so there could be some interesting stuff. And if we are able to trade up, I mean, all the way to here, Oliver Holzer, maybe even Jaeger and Rontel are all elites. I mean, again, Great opportunities to, to move up here. And I'm kind of excited about that. There's another low franchise sniper there. in Ice Warrior. Other than that, I don't know. Let me... I don't. Again, I don't know if we're going to see any low elites here. The ones that we do have figured out... I did have them pinned. I could have just gone to that. Um, 49 and, you know, I guess we could interview a couple people around there, see if we could find potentially some more low elites in that range. So let's start right, no, not with Cal and Lint, he's real. Um, oof. I guess we'll interview Safranov and hope for the best out of him. I guess we'll see. Uh, Three-year ETA, that's pretty standard. Play style, he's a two-way guy. And we'll see what his personality is. See if he's got a good personality. Uh, consummate professional, boring. Boring. Where's the Zegris of the world, man? Uh, what? Why is it resetting? You fucking jokey, eh? Holy shit, dude. I don't even know what... Safranov. No, he was a medium. Uh, that guy. Okay, those guys aren't... Gonna, uh. <laughs> those guys aren't really gonna be really useful. No, I mean, not that they're not useful, but... Um... I forgot what I was going to say. Whatever, dude. Um, <laughs> a little space this morning, apparently. Let's see here. Three-year ETA. I was hoping for two years. So he is indeed a playmaker, not a two-way. As our scout was thinking, he possibly could be. Alright, likes to win. Wants to win... Alrighty, so probably going to be a medium, yeah, 
Well, I mean, shit, I already, I already knew that. He's a medium top six. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I was interviewing someone who I had no info on. Apparently, I'm losing it this morning. It's it's the last video. Last video absolutely screwed me up. Um, That's it for, like, the pins? Uh, like, what kind of player type do I want to look at? There's nothing really. Yeah, there's really nothing else that I'm too curious about. Like, I'm looking at some maybe player types that I want to see, but they're... I got everything, so... That's, we're going to use two of our entries. There's no point in really interviewing anything else. Like maybe, I don't know, maybe pick someone in the 30, 40, 50 range and get lucky. But most likely not. Uh, yeah, by the way, LA Kings won the <laughs> cup. Who knows? But there they are. LA winning the Stanley Cup. Back, back in there. Colorado, three years straight with the Presidents. And, well, they got close last season, but no cigar. So it was Ottawa and LA. In the cup finals. Yeah, everyone expected that. Art Ross to McDavid. Uh, Hart to Rotnan. Norris did go to McCarr. Uh, McKinnon with the Lady Bing. Cott with the Calder. What? Who the hell is that guy? Okay, uh, Kopitar with the Con Smythe. Seriously, who the fuck is that guy? Did I... Did we think it was... <sighs> what? Uh, Olmark with the Vesna. And the William M. Jennings. Murphy got the Masterton Dallas coach with the Jack Adams. Makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Fuck you. Um, Kopitar with the Selkie. Rotten with the Ted Lindsay. Maurice Richard went to Dreisaitl. So there we go. And then Palm Pacific whatever won the uh, Calder Cup. I think that's Seattle. Yeah, Seattle's uh, AHL team. So there we are. All the awards taken care of now. Before we head in the draft, I'll have one second. All righty. So I just wanted to uh, get my little uh, sheet here ready. As you can see, the EA servers have gone down, or my internet's just being stupid because Comcast. Um, let's get into the draft, huh? Let's do the thing. So the Devils get the first overall pick once again. So they're going to have essentially two franchises to have fun with. Um, that's cool. It's a right winger slash center. I wonder if they go with the actual center, because it's Detroit. But, uh, holy shit. Uh-oh, crazy train similar to Wayne Gretzky. That means it's a bust, right, guys? That's what you guys tell me. If they're... <laughs> oh, anyway, um, no one... Okay, Vegas wants to trade their pick. That's good. We can get into the top five if we so want. What is around five? There's a power forward, S.M. Mackinnon. Might be good. Also NHL ready. Uh, a two-way D. Um, Brundle Fly. I've no <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh, or Connor Emery. Interesting. Um, with the whole Yossi situation, it's like... Well, here's the thing. We did pick up a DFD. Pretty sure he's a righty. Connor Emery wouldn't be bad. Mackinnon, though, also wouldn't be bad. Having a nice power forward. Unfortunately, I don't think we're moving up twice. No. 12, 13. I mean, maybe. Maybe there's something around 12, 13 that we could snag, too. Uh, nah, no. I think it's a little bit outside of range, but... It's also a potential sniper there, if we so choose to get that. Where's our pick? Yeah, no, too late. 22, we'd have to move up. I mean, it is possible. There's the 15, there's the 17 available. Question is, do we move? I, I think there's no question we got to move for this pick. If Vegas is willing to give it up, I'm not going to argue with them. I'm worried about Yossi still. I'm exceptionally Look at this fucking contract. They want him. You know what? Fuck Vegas. I'm sorry. I know people might be like, oh, whoa, whoa, you said you weren't going to... It. His. He's down to top four, and you're starting to naturally decline. Honestly, this is probably the best time to get rid of him. <sighs> he might be fine, and it might work out, but I, I can't... I don't think I can risk it anymore. <sighs> I didn't want to do this, trust me, but... Can I grab a couple threes? Yes, I can. Okay. 
I still don't feel great about that. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know, man. That that decline was not looking good. Uh, they went with their pick. They got crazy train. 81 overall franchise power forward. Hmm. So they're going to get Connor Bedard. That's not fair. <laughs> Uh, imagine imagine the horrors of being a pittsburgh fan you get to move from crosby to connor bedard oh the humanity so the question now is do we move for this do we... there's probably no use in keeping the 22 so you might want to move this up in which case we could hold on to some of these guys and again do we want to move for ice warrior i mean we could hey he does say anything already so i mean this would kind of help us jumpstart some things. He might not be... It doesn't make sense really to hold on to the, uh, the 22. We don't know what we're going to get. Like there's some okay stuff. Like Calum Ritchie, like top six decent. But other than that, it kind of makes sense to move up again. Vegas gave us a, a, gave us a gift. Now the question is, do I go for 17 or... Play it safe and go for 15. I might play it safe and go for 15 here. We'll see what the value differential is. 22. Shouldn't be too much. I mean, we did pick up a couple third. We have, holy shit, we have a shit ton. All right, I don't need this 86, I don't think. Hold on. <laughs> Before I actually say that, let me check. I'm having second. I know I had a couple low elites. Uh, see, wow, well, now see, 80. Um, see how we can trade the 86. We can definitely trade the 86, and that actually might be enough. 22 to 15 with the 86? I don't know. It doesn't, seem, doesn't sound like enough, but you never know. Hey, it looks like enough. No, not quite. Quite far off, they say. Wait a sec. Oh, no, they don't want mine. I was like, wait. <laughs> I saw... <laughs> Freaked me out for a minute. Uh, I want to kind of hold on to the 69. Number one, nice. And number two... Well, hold on. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a let. Well, we'll still be in a good location. I could trade a future pick of some sort. A four from next year or something. Just trying to see what will push it across. There you go. Three and a four from next year. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So we're maybe blowing things up in a different way than we initially thought. But that Yossi thing, I'm so, I, I don't know. I've seen it before. And yeah, that's an early, early decline. I do not want to mess with that, especially on the contract he was. So, and plus we got to we got to dump it off on Vegas, who would gladly take that shitty contract to watch someone fall off, like a Petrangelo. All right, let's let's uh, all watch in horror as uh, Pittsburgh gets to uh, draft Connor Bedard. <laughs> anyway, I should also put in Crazy Train, as he has now went to. The Devils as well, so you get to join uh, Arvo uh, Partanen in uh, in New Jersey. That that's not going to be overpowered. Good God, two way forward and a power forward. Like yeah, they're going to be a sick team. Plus you already they already fucking have Hughes and shit. Oh my God, wait, I gotta see that stupid team. I'm just 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 for fun, just for fun. I gotta see how stupid this team is. <laughs> scary, scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy hell. Yeah. Then they still have Holtz. He sure. Uh, okay. If they don't get. I mean. Probably could have used a defenseman or so. But you know. Now. Speaking of which. Now it's on to us. Do, what? Do we actually grab a defenseman here? We got AJ already. Who is power forward. We have Oakham Kemmel, a sniper. We're just going to get another. I think we got to go with a def defenseman here. I think so. I think we might go for Connor Emery and get ourselves an OFD to pair with uh, Trey. We already have Dun Fabro. I think it makes the most sense. Yes, they're both going to have the same hand in this. But you could play, you know, the OFD oppo. It's not going to be too bad. I'm kind of uh, leaning towards that right now. Instead of... Uh, 
Instead of grabbing the power forward, because we do have a power forward, we might be able to grab another one. Well, yeah, he yeah, does look good. He's be close to NHL already. Maybe Hilbert will drop? I doubt. I doubt. No, he's a cycle hold on. Interesting. Not that that's the worst thing ever. I mean, we'll have to wait a bit longer for Connor, but not the end of the world. Maybe if Hilpert, if Hilpert like drops for some reason, I'll 100% grab him. Even though his cycle hold line, I mean, the DFD should be, I can't remember exactly what he was. I felt like it was something interesting though. Like Mackinac's great, man. Don't get me wrong, but I would say defenseman at this stage is a bit more of a higher priority. Especially as we just traded uh, Yossi. So, probably Embert, uh, Emery or Hilpert here. Probably the play. So, let's see uh, what goes in the next uh, little bit. Ma see, Mackinan went hell early. So, he couldn't have even got it. Actually, that might screw up the order here. What does Detroit take? Please don't take the defense. Oh, they didn't. They took Dawson Wild. So, okay. Yeah, we can actually get Hilpert. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Okay, hold on. Senses at A. Let's let's just do a check. A plus for his senses. Oh shit. Hmm. But he's less good overall. Ah. Tough call. It is a tough call. God damn it. This is really tough. Now, now I'm not sure. Cycle hold line. I feel like that's not as common in coaching. Fuck, dude. I, I, this is actually a bit more of a dilemma than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not, just not going to know his freaking... Unfortunately... Damn. This is really tough. It's... Like, here's the thing. Emery starts off with way, way better senses. But Leo Hilpert's got kind of everything else. And he's just going to be better starting overall as well. Yeah, Connor Emery's defense isn't that... <sighs> I got to go with the gut. Going with Hilpert. 79 overall OFD. 86 offensive awareness. Yeah, he's pretty well. He's pretty well built. Play him AHL immediately. Yeah. All right. Well, I got also write down some other. Is Wild Dawson Wild? I don't think so. He wouldn't. He would be. I should be at 870. Yeah. No, I don't think Dawson Wild was anyone real. We know Crazy Train was. Uh, so Jimmy Sullivan goes to uh, the Kraken. I think that's the first. Uh, First member we've had go to the Kraken. So, grants to you. And Buffalo will probably... Uh, they grab Brundlefly. Alright, so let's put you in there. Sabres. And next, I know I need to check out the egg growth and stuff on people. I guess I'll do that on our next pick. <laughs> we'll pause it and check things out. Uh, Connor Emery goes to San Jose. So you're do you're joining Dusty Jabroni in San Jose. All right. The Sharks getting some uh, some neat stuff there. All right. And wow. Oliver Holes are 80 overall DFD going to uh, the Islanders. That's pretty damn good. The Canadians get Benson, Elite. Uh, Uncle Skoden goes to Calgary. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, let's see. I'm just trying to. I'm also trying to like alphabetize this kind of as I go, which is not. It's easier said than done, so I'm not really doing it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Going to uh, the Flames, Winnipeg. Yeah, you. Oh my God, he was a franchise. Holy shit, Jonas Rantala. 
franchise goaltender going to the Winnipeg Jets. Holy shit. Damn, he was a franchise. That's actually insane. I thought I thought for sure he was going to be an elite at that. God damn. Jonas Rantala. 80 overall. Bit scary. Uh, Connor Levi? Ugh. I don't think so. He would have no. He would have grown more. Yeah, I think. Well, let's see. Yeah, Uncle Scoden would have been seventy overall starting. So yeah, he would have grown to like seventy three. It the at least to my knowledge the career. Oops. Oh, it's our pick. Shit. All right, that's good. All right. Um, at least to my. Oh, I should have. Oh well, I'll remember. For the most part. Kind of. Oops. Oops. Kind of going out of order here. Before I even wrote people down. Now I'm gonna be a little bit confused, but. Hopefully be okay. Um, we had someone on the Sabres here. Which was a Jaron Myers. Who got... Uh, played in Rochester. 68 points. 34 goals. Did not make the playoffs. Pretty damn solid. Did shoot 300 times, dude. Yeah. Shout out to Snipe and Score who balanced this exceptionally well. You're, look at your build. Yeah. Very solid build. You're going to be a dangerous goal scoring threat. 85 face offs as well. Looking solid is Jaron Myers. All right, past that, we had. I guess no one on. Blue Jackets, I guess, next, yeah. Where Carey was there. Got up to 70. Great. The other, the other low franchise got up to 77. Uh oh. Uh, 30, not a whole lot, not a ton of points, but build wise, I mean, he's a grinder. What do you, what do you want? Look at the face offs though. Look at those face offs. <laughs> Looking pretty scary there. It's pretty much balanced. Like even if you guys are, you know, interesting builds or otherwise, like you'll probably, you'll make an impact wherever you go. The stars where Peter Dinklage was got up to 79 Got 45 points in the OHL. Not bad. Less than his last season. Oh, yeah. No. None of that. Two-way guy. Yeah, pretty well balanced. Still got a ways to go growth-wise, but not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. Should make a, be a pretty big impact player there in Dallas. Okay, not the wings. I know we had someone on the Islanders. Nope. Did have someone on the Habs here, which was uh, Alan Maloney. 64 points in Laval. Very solid. No playoffs for you, but as you can see, you're a playmaker and you performed like one. You're passing. Looking really solid. And for, for where your overall was, the uh, awareness is still in a good spot. Good face-offs. Decent shot when you want to take one. 16 goals isn't too bad. Not a bad rookie year in uh, the AHL. Not at all. And, uh, well, we saw Partanen, but let's check out his actual growth now as well. 73 points in Utica. Oh, he's scary. Uh, made the playoffs, played eight games, got seven assists, minus six. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no shot as he wanted, but still scored. How many shots were you taking? 130? What the hell? Like, that's not even a ton of shots, but, like... <laughs> He had a decent shooting percentage. Pretty damn sick. Good face-offs. The defense. I think the face-offs have only grown like by like one. I believe you start around probably 85. and Didn't grow a whole lot, but your defense, everything is in pretty sick. Besides your puck control for some reason. You got good deking, hand-eye, and passing, but puck control is like, nah. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. And then obviously we just saw the crazy train. There's his uh, starting stats and whatnot. Okay, and then we had someone on the aisles here, which was Ziggy Hosa, who was uh, played sixty, got sixty points there in the AHL for Bridgeton. Ooh, that defensive awareness though, a bit lower, especially for a two-way. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, you've grown a little weird. A little bit. Well, you should, again, still be an effective player. 
Ziggy Hosa. <laughs> what a name. What a goddamn name. And I think... Oh, yeah, we got someone on the Sharks as well. I think that was it from the first batch. That should have been nine. Oh, hi, Elite William Eklund. You're damn right. You're goddamn right. It was... uh No, Connor Emery just got drafted. It was... Dusty Jabroni. There it is. Who had 100 points in uh, the dub. Again, less than last season, but hey. Oh, goodness. Yeah, pretty scary. Yeah. Again, don't pay attention to, like, the goals and stuff. That That's all, like, simmed and not simmed simmed, but, like, made up sim. Uh, wow. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty stacked. Pretty stacked is Dusty Jabroni. Looking, uh, gonna be looking scary. Alrighty, well. <laughs> there you go, that is, I believe, that was everyone. From the first draft year. I'm just double checking again. Yeah, pretty. Yep, that would, that would have been everyone. All right. So there's your uh, growth so far. And we'll go back a little bit to show you guys your starting up builds as well. Uh, that's not anyone. What am I doing? It's Jimmy Sullivan, a 2AD. Again, pretty well balanced, as you can see across the board. Better awareness in the stick jacking. Kind of what you expect out of a 2 way Brindle fly, same sort of deal. A bit higher on the offensive side of things. And a harder shot. Connor Emery as an OFD. I'm actually curious to see. So he had actually a similar starting uh, awareness, which means, I mean, theoretically it should be better in the long run. But he's also six overall worse. So, I mean, there's advantages to each, but... I still feel like I went with the in the right direction. Uncle Skoden as a power forward. There you are. Good. You're gonna have a decent shot. The awareness and again, like, yeah, that's what you get when you work with rosters all the time. Like Snipe does. You know how to build guys to like in balance of the game and kind of it's similar to the way that the game does. In the Liga, and there is your uh, the way you're built. Pretty sick. Yeah, man, I mean, <laughs> it looks so good. It's like, it could be uh, the AI doing it. Which in this case is a compliment. <laughs> All right, Ice Warrior. Get on this team. Low franchise, 77. Oh, oh. oh baby. Look at that awareness. Look at that shot. Not going to be the strongest face-off guy. We'll probably stick on the wing, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. You love to see it. All right. Next up here. Uh, Bim Jenning went to the Jackets. Okay, there's a couple guys in the Jackets now. You guys are, like, pairing up. Benning. Autocorrect to Benning. You know what? I'm leaving it because that's hilarious. <laughs> Blue Jackets for you, Mr. Bim Jenning. Another grinder, top six. Not going to be too bad, look at the discipline. <laughs> and the aggressiveness, the fighting skill, oh yeah. You're going you're gonna to be an actual, you're going to be a solid grinder. But you're gonna have, you already have decent face-offs, 87 face-offs. Look at you go. All right, there should be, there he is. Sir Stevo went to the Blues. I don't think anyone had the Blues yet, so there you go. So, Mr. Steve-O on the Blues. 84 OFD, only top four this time around. Not the greatest of roles for the, the, th the three of you or whatever, how many just went there. But, I mean, again, you can still be an impact player, especially with the way you're being built. A lot of potential to make an impact if you get ice time and get some stack growth, so... The potential is not the end-all, be-all, but it, you know, obviously helps. All right, I think that's actually it for the members. That would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the nine. Yeah, so nine per year. I had miscounted. <laughs> so there you go. There's all the members uh, for that draft year. Now we do have our next pick coming up at 54. Now... If we really wanted that other low elite, we'll have to move up. He's got 49. It's another sniper. 
3 or ETA crash the net, which is interesting. But he should have X factors, actually guaranteed X factors, so the uh, that stuff won't matter too much. I think that's worth possibly moving up for. These other guys, not really. But get ourselves another sniper, maybe. Yeah, if that guy had like better ETA, I might consider getting the power forward, but nah. I think grabbing Gordy DiPietro here is a good idea. So we can move shift this uh, our pick up like... Uh, where the fuck is it? Wow, here. Um, it's at like 55. Let's go up to like right there. That'll be like 47, 46, 46. Alright, so do that. Throw in the 54. We'll have to obviously chuck in something else here. What do we have to throw in? Tanner's a no. Why you got value? Huh. Hold on to carry, eh? Janot can get the hell out, dude. Why the hell does he have that kind of value? That's interesting. Alright, we'll do a one-for-one -one trade, and then I might be able to get another pick here. Yep. And that, okay, so we drafted, what, two guys? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. This is a complete max that we're allowed to have. Twelve and five in the first two rounds or something. We're definitely under that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we moved up there. That will net us the low elite here. Yeah, 64 overall. It's going to be about the same for a low elite, which is, again, more boomer bust, but I kind of like that in the second round here. So, Gordy Di Pietro, 65 overall. Not bad. Ooh, a really good shot. Not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. And I think there's... I think I have the 69 and the 65. Oh my god, I got 65, 67, 16. Good gracious. Here in the third round, we have quite a lot. I can go... Can I, you know what? I might go for some stuff here. I'm a, I'll am gonna. i draft with all of them. We might push it. That guy's probably low four. There's a guarantee low elite here. I'm going to go for the guarantee low elite first and then two blind picks for, for some medium elites. Let's get Popovich. 60 overall DFD. 19. Not great or anything, but... This is where it gets interesting. Right here. So that guy's at 91. Mohamed Van Riemsdyk. First of all, epic name. He's got 5-year ETA. That's a no-brain. I might even go for Lewis next, too. Oh, damn it. I was really... Really, really hoping. Okay. Top four. Only top four. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Damn. Up to the 69 we go. Let's see. I could go for another one of this. Or someone around here. Samsonov. I think Samsonov is the way to go. Harder to say with where the ETA is, but if we want to go for a medium elite, this is around the area. So I'm going for it. Samsonov. Oh my goodness. Nope. Bad. Up to 100. All my pins were much, much earlier, so we're out of pins. So it's all about blind picks now. So there's a couple goalies, right? Yeah, one. Okay, well I got to probably choose here. So we're at 100. There's a couple there. I'm just kind of going for value. Yeah, 100 and then the 126. So yeah, just going to go for value here. We can go for Morosa. 4 year GA. Uh, he is 19, though. He can go up to elite, but... Or you can go for Lewis here, who's also 19, and but has 5-year ETA. That's the better bet. Tony Lewis for the for the value. There he is. Elite. 55 Elite. Got him. All right. Blind pick, baby. Draft God back. Draft God back in front. I want to see what the other guy is. I want to see if I made the correct decision. That wasn't him, was it? Morosa, I made the correct decision. Look at me go. Look at me go. Baby, what a pick. What a pick. Up to the 126 we go. Okay, screen. You can do that if you want, I guess. 
fringe start or a law. Five, ooh, five year ATA at 19. 18. Mm. Mm. Probably not great for either of them. But I'm going with the outlier. Top nine. Damn. Well, he's a grinder. Let's see what the other guy is. Uh-oh. It's going to make me go back. Probably just going to be top nine, huh? Yeah. Okay. Didn't miss anything there by the looks of it. Let's... I doubt we're going to be missing anything around here. Probably the best we're going to get our hands on is like low six. That's kind of the... Uh, that's kind of what it's looking like. Vickus. Yeah, I do know Vickus. <laughs> we can go for a starter. Five-year ETA. Also five-year ETA. <sighs> they guarantee... It's not going to be a ton of value differential, so might as well go hit, hit, uh, swing for the fences and not get rewarded. No elite. No elite. Again, it's be it was, in my opinion, better to do that. I know the... Obviously, the downside was much, much more. Why is Blatt? It's Oasis. Oh, man. What an awesome family, by the way. Hmm... Yeah, let's go for some crazy stuff now. Oh, okay. Maybe not a whole lot of crazy stuff. <sighs> I'm going for a lot of goalies here, but they're, they're the ones I can get a lot of trade value out of, potentially. Not that time. Wow, they did Oasis dirty. Not really. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how good he is, but I want him to be good. Any two ticks? Only back here, and he's garb. One ticks? No, we're kind of out. That's the best sort of bet, but way, way out. Uh, damn. I'm looking for people that are just completely not real. That guy is not real. Insane save percentage. Damn it. All right, all right. Enough goalies. Enough goalies. <laughs> Stop with the goalies. Well, we can at least get garbage picks back for him. I gotta look for complete unknowns here. Pilling, 19, 20, nope. Delic, 19, nope. Zane MacArthur, Nicholas Brashear. This guy plays for Vaksha. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I saw the low. I kind of was excited. Okay, that's it. <laughs> we didn't strike gold. But to be fair, the second year especially is pretty garbage there's some decent like low sixes low fours that's not what i'm going for i'm going for low elites medium elites etc so forth so if you swing for you know go for the fences more like yeah i could i could have got a ton of low sixes and low fours there and maybe turn some of them into you know decent players but rather get some guys i can later flip and didn't work out this time that's just how it goes sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but overall we had a great great draft hilbert you know ice warrior dpa tro Got that uh, elite steel, which will be good trade value. That's worth it in itself. We'll be getting like third round, right? That's worth it in itself. So, oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to, again, keep all the scouts because, yeah, there's no penalty for firing them. So, always, always, always keep the scouts. Especially because some of those were actually A's and we are going to keep them. The rest of them. Well, we're going to, eh, so it'll probably take another year after this to get our complete A team together. But, hey, yo. Which never really benefits you if you, you too much if you're doing a rebuild off the bat. But hey, if you're ever doing a, like a, a window and then rebuild after that, this strategy right here is tits. Alrighty. There we are. Into the contract phase we go. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to do Kunin. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, we'll do this. You fucking idiot. What a crazy man. He wants, like, for two years, he wants that kind of price tag. Very, very odd. Um, let's just give him exactly what he wants for a year. Uh, Philippe Myers, this might be interesting. That's very interesting. Yikes. I'm going to tender him, because I'm not sure. Uh, Clef Bomb could probably fuck off. Yeah, you can get out. Um, Grimaldi, uh, he can just get out at this point. He's terrible for chemistries. I love him, but goddamn, is he awful for chemistries? Uh, we'll get Hilpert because he can play AHL no matter what. Then we can call him up when he grows, if and when. Could keep Reeves for the memes, but nah. 
Let him go. And let's do the thing. Alright, so a lot of these guys we will keep. Novak. No reason not to. Yeah, I'll keep most of these guys for AHL type stuff. Olivier. McCarron. Sure, Tennyson. Just the year. Oops. And Sherwood. There you go. The goalie! We'll keep Ingram. And Volkov, we can let go of and try to find someone with better potential. Alright, so that's that. Let's advance a day. Get a bunch of scouts. Maybe a bunch of players. No one rejected yet. Look at that. Oh, they're going to make this easy on me, huh? I'm going to keep Myers tendered. I'm not too sure what to do with him. I can keep him. And probably, like, you might as well, but we have money. Yeah, we got money. Let me just do two years for him and five mil, you little dick. Take it. Whatever. And, uh, yeah. You know, some Myers resigned. You see that from the morale boost up there. But we got to scroll through all the scouts first. Or click through all the scouts. There we go. Myers is back. That's everyone signed. 39 guys under contract. We can take a look at free agency. Which we will definitely do. More scouts. Holy crap. Ashley. Maurice. See the way they spelled Ashley there, by the way? <laughs> all right. Let's check out extensions first and foremost. Uh, Yeah, Tolvin and hi. How you doing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> nah. Uh, we'll hold off on that. Domi. Okay, we can still, again, we still got guys to move here. We didn't move him at the draft because ah, I wanted to hold on to him, I guess. I can move Domi here if we really want to, if we want to. Here's the thing, man. We kind of have another year to do that. Glass needs an extension. God damn, they don't want good extensions. Glass is a guy I'm not signing long term unless he wants something really, really good and cheap. And he doesn't right now, so I'll wait. Tolvin and there's no real reason to get him short term. No, in my opinion, there's no real reason to get him short term. So I'll wait on him as well. Because I ain't paying that shit. <laughs> Domi could probably get traded this year. We did boost him up. He's up to an 86, man. Tomasino, oh, here's a nice one. Here, here, this one could be interesting. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? No, they all want, they all want good contracts. How dare you? Let me get you to team friendly deals, assholes. Okay, we're not gonna do any of that there. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they shape up a little bit later. O'Reilly, Miller, Pavelski back, Wegar, Tarasenko, Horvat, Stahl, Trocek. So some names. Some definite names, a bit better than uh, last season as well. I mean, we could, again, I don't know. We just traded Yossi, so keep that in mind. And there's actually, like, zero defensemen. There's Wegar, and that's the best. So, I still don't think we're making a run for it. I think we're, we're going to continue with the uh, with the build-up. So, we'll spend money to get to the cap floor, because we have to. Maybe snag someone else who we could, might be able to get some stack growth here or there. Maybe, like, a DFD, we, or a OFD we could throw on that top line. That could be interesting. Because, I mean, there's your defense. <laughs> like, we threw, like, an OFD to play with Fabro. Poor Saros. But you know what? Saros is good enough to carry. May, could, will he lose his stack growth? Maybe. But it would be okay if he did. Because then we could sign him to a really good deal. <laughs> and then he can get more stack growth when we're good. See? There's a method to this madness. I wasn't completely broken by Dallas. Though they are still our number one freaking rival. We'll see what happens. So, that will wrap things up in this one, guys. Let me know what you think and thought about the draft. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.